What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today is part two of the DF kit car build. Let me show y'all what I've been up to back here. All right, so where I ended the last video was basically the installation of the floor pan and some of the brake tees. So the next thing after that was installing the steering rack. I just had it sitting back over here on the shelf. But really, it was as difficult as just sliding it through under here, underneath the battery box. And then it came with uh, bolts to mount it to the frame. So after I got the steering rack installed, I installed the steering column and connected the two. So once I get the steering wheel installed, once you turn the wheel, this rod here will turn, which will then turn all of this stuff. And then as, as this joint down here turns, the steering rack moves back and forth, left and right, to move the wheels left and right. After putting that piece on, next was the pedal box. The pedal box just slid down on the frame right here, bolted here, and then there was one bolt under here as well that just held it in place. The pedal box delivers the gas and brake pedals, and I'll install the clutch later. After the pedal box was installed, I put in the brake booster, which it's called a brake booster most commonly in the US, sometimes call it a vacuum servo elsewhere in the world, uh, but it assists in braking power so the driver doesn't have to push as hard to provide extra force. Same sort of thing with the electronic power steering. Less force is needed to turn the wheels. Basically how it works is it's a vacuum system with fluid inside. These are the brake lines. This is the uh, vacuum intake that will come from the intake manifold here and basically assist with pressure of brake fluid through the brake lines to the rotors to assist in braking stopping power. And if you're wondering what this hose sitting right here is, it's waiting for me to get a hose clamp so that way I can connect it to the brake booster and then that hose runs through the system all the way back to where the engine will sit so that way you can use the engine's power to provide force for the vacuum system. And if you're wondering how the force is detected for the brake booster, there's a rod that goes through this system right here and is connected to the brake pedal. Let me flip it around to the other side. That's not lit up so great, but you can, you can see what's going on here. When you apply the brake pedal, see this piece moving here? That's the arm that goes up into the brake booster. It's just connected directly to your brake pedal. So whenever your foot's here, you're basically just kicking that rod up into that master cylinder. So once all that was in place, and y'all remember the brake tees were in place, just connected the brake lines, which this line goes down and then all the way through to the back of the vehicle. And then this line comes right here to the front tee, which will provide braking power to the front wheels. The next step after that point was installing all the wiring harness, laying all that down from the, the front to the back to kind of start plugging it into everything. But that's still over at the, uh, the DF kit car factory. Those guys are getting it done for me and I think I'm gonna pick it up. I'm hoping I can pick it up either next weekend or sometime shortly thereafter. So at this point, I'm just kind of moving forward from there and just getting everything installed and I'll just plug everything in later. So next up after that was installing the ignition switch. So the switch just sits right here bolts directly to the frame, the post right here, and this is the connector that'll go to the wiring system. Uh, just left the keys in the, in the vehicle so I didn't lose it. Um, obviously I can throw away the key fobs because there are no doors to unlock, lock, uh, and no trunk. Maybe the horn will still work? I don't know. That'll be interesting to try out. Hmm. And then I went ahead and just put the gauge cluster on here so it wasn't just sitting on the shelf and uh, seems a little bit safer that way, but it's just on there loosely. Once I get the wiring harness, I'll have to pop it off and connect the gauge cluster right there. But yeah, same, same gauge cluster, got the Speedo fuel tank and tachometer, as well as all the, just the pertinent lights and stuff right there. One of the things I'm super curious about though is how the electronic system will work without doors and a trunk and uh, airbags and all that kind of stuff. If I've got to override the system in some way or reprogram it in some way or whatever, because when I was actually taking apart the old vehicle, as soon as I pulled the doors off, disconnected the doors, the car wouldn't start anymore. I was being who I am and I wanted to take the doors after the hood was off and, and some of the side panels and all that kind of stuff. And I just wanted to go drive it around without anything on it. Um, just to, just to see, I don't know, <laughs> just to be funny. But yeah, I'm curious how that'll work out. So after that, I installed the ground for the battery. So that just uh, bolts onto the frame right here. So next up is installing the radiator, which will go right here. Just put in some hose splices and uh, the front end of the, the frame will, is right there. So I'm gonna drop that on. Just 
just a quick ridiculous side note on the horn up here on the front. This is just the standard horn out of the Cobalt. I'd love to do something different. I don't know if I want to put in like some sort of train horn system or something that sounds like a clown horn or something. Uh, if you all have any ideas, let me know. Drop something in the comments. Uh, but I want to do something different from a horn perspective and I can't quite figure out what I want to do. Radiator mounted. All right, y'all, I'm gonna end part two right there. Part three will be next weekend. We're gonna get into hopefully installing the powertrain and installing the wiring harness. And I mean, it's starting to look like a car. So I'm pumped. Anyway, thank y'all for following along and see you next time. Peace. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was good. Do you think in her mind she's as big as Kennedy? Yes. Oh, stop it! Yes, stop it! Launch her into the creek! Yeah, do it! Don't you make my baby fall.